this video, I'll show you how to make yuca fries in the air fryer in a half hour using either fresh or frozen yuca, as well as an easy low histamine dipping sauce. So let's get started. Hi, this is Max from lowhistamineeats.com, where we make and share histamine-friendly recipes. This simple recipe is a great alternative to french fries with a lower glycemic index and higher levels of gut-friendly fiber. If starting with fresh yuca, First chop off the ends, then cut the roots lengthwise, peel off the skin, and cut the yuca into cassava fries of your desired size. Fresher roots peel more easily, but this could take up to 10 minutes, which is why I prefer the frozen version. It's made with just yuca, water, and salt, as you can see, so all I need to do is start steaming it. For this step, just boil a couple of inches of water and then add the frozen yuca pieces in a strainer on top and steam them for about 5-7 to seven minutes. They should have translucent edges when done, but not be falling apart. And then now, you'll need to steam fresh yuca for about 20 minutes for the same doneness. While the yuca steams, measure out your oil, salt, and garlic powder, and set aside. Once the pieces are tender, remove the steamer basket and place the yuca on a plate, then set your air fryer to preheat to 380 Fahrenheit, or 190 Celsius, for 5 minutes. The pieces will be a bit sticky from its natural starch, but this is normal. Just cut any large pieces into small or medium pieces so that all of them cook evenly. Drizzle or brush on your oil using your fingers or a pastry brush to make sure each piece gets evenly coated. Then sprinkle on your garlic and salt, flipping the pieces if needed. Carefully place your yuca fries into the preheated air fryer basket, leaving a bit of room between each one for even frying. If you have a smaller air fryer like me, you may need to do this in two batches. You'll need to cook them for about 14 to 16 minutes in the preheated air fryer, shaking the basket halfway through and then removing them once golden brown and crispy. Then just enjoy them with your sauce of choice, which we're making next using herbs from my garden, specifically basil. This basil garlic sauce is similar to a pesto, but with no nuts and a bit of extra garlic to make it a bit more similar to a mojo sauce, which is a traditional sauce you'd serve with yuca fries in the Caribbean. To make it, I use two cloves of raw garlic, about a cup of fresh basil, a sprinkle of salt, and a half tablespoon of oil. I eyeballed this all myself, but I'll link a similar recipe from my site in the description. You just blitz everything up in the food processor, then scrape it into a small dish for serving, and voila, your yuca fries are ready. If you make these yuca fries from frozen, I wouldn't recommend freezing them again once cooked. It will negatively affect the texture quite a bit. But if you used fresh yuca, then you can safely freeze them for up to six months, which is the benefit of using the roots themselves. Thank you so much for watching, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more low histamine eats. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below, and I'll catch you.